more of us taking accountable position then. And like I was saying, if you want to wrap yourself in a blanket, then do. That's it. Okay, so shall we close the eyes and settle or begin to settle into ourselves? And if you feel to make any adjustments, if you're not feeling quite comfortable enough as you're settled, then just having a little wiggle around. Making sure that however you're sitting, if you're sitting, it's not compromising your knees in any way, especially. And just resting your hands possibly on your legs or in your lap. And anyone that happens to be lying down, you're welcome to rest your hands on your tummy if you'd rather. And then let's begin, shall we, by taking a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And let's just stay settled awareness on the breath for a short while. So perhaps you're breathing through the nose or through your mouth. Just resting the awareness on the nose or the mouth, therefore. And just noticing the sensation of the breath as it comes in and out of the body. And just have an awareness of the parts of your body that are moving with the breath. And then from the breath, let's just bring the awareness now down to our feet. Those of you who are sitting in a chair, you might be able to feel your feet, the sensation of the feet in contact with the floor. Those of you who are sitting on a mat or on the floor, maybe your feet are not in direct contact with the floor, but you can still feel them sensation through the soles of the feet perhaps. So we really notice our feet, we come into our feet. So they're no longer just something on the end of our legs, but something we can feel into. Noticing the soles of the feet, the tops of the feet, the 3D nature of your feet. Noticing your ankle joints and your lower leg bones. Noticing your knee joints and noticing your thigh bones. From the thigh bones, Trying to connect, if you can, with the very root of your spine, wherever you perceive that to be. The very root of your spine, wherever you perceive that to be. And just resting the awareness here at the very root of the spine. Noticing any sensations, any thoughts that arise. Any emotions, any colours, any textures, anything really that arises with the awareness at the root, even if that is simply, I don't notice anything. It's all valid and all helpful in some way. As we connect more fully, not only with our body, but also with our awareness generally. Focusing the mind in the body the root of the spine. And here, for those that are familiar, you will already know, for those that aren't, we have seven energy centers in the body chakras. 
And this here at the root of the spine is our base chakra, our root chakra. It's our connection to the earth, our roots essentially. So our ability to look after ourselves on a fundamental basis, so clothing ourselves, feeding ourselves, sheltering ourselves. But it's also about our roots, where we come from, the family of origin perhaps, as well as the country from which or within which we were born. And then the awareness now moving a little bit higher up your body to what we call the sacral chakra, which happens to rest below the navel center and above your pubic bones. In women, we might call this the womb space, whether we have a womb or not, there's a space. In Sanskrit, it's known as swastastana, which really means exactly that, the sacral chakra. So we settle the awareness here for a moment, notice what arises. This is all about our creativity, essentially. Our ability to create in our lives, to create the life that we might want to live, but to create within our life as well, our passions for creativity perhaps enabling more of our ability to write or to sing perhaps, to express ourselves creatively. And the awareness now moving a little higher to your navel center. So literally the space around your belly button. This we call Manipura. And this is essentially our power center. Whether we feel empowered or disempowered. Our ability to create safe boundaries in our life to establish any sort of boundary in our life. You might find elements of the ego here and so much as the ego, which belittles us, which disempowers us. And the ego, which it's not that it empowers us the opposite way almost, that, it be, that we, we create more of our capacity for bullying perhaps, for manipulation. It's also the place where we digest our food stuff. And we digest in theory anyhow our life experiences, allowing our emotions to move through us rather than getting stuck within us. So we notice this space. And then bring your awareness higher still now to your energetic heart, which is said to reside between the breasts. So we notice the energetic heart. All of our chakras have an element attached to them. Well, actually not technically all of them, but these lower ones anyhow. The root is earth, the sacral chakra is water, the navel center is fire. And here in the heart is air. And here, of course, we breathe. So we have the lungs as well as the heart. And here the capacity to love, to feel love, but also to, of course, feel sadness, to feel joy, but also anger and frustration. The ability to forgive comes from here more often than not and the ability to love unconditionally. So we notice this space in the body. 
thoughts that arise, sensations. And then we come higher still to the throat, Vishuddhi. Here it's the element of ether. And this is about our ability to communicate. Our ability almost to connect through our communication. It's about our vocation and our calling in life. It's about living our truth in touch with our heart. So noticing this space in your body. Again, noticing sensations, noticing any thoughts that come to mind. Each of the chakras have a color and here it's blue. The heart is green. The solar plexus is yellow, the sacral chakra is orange, and the root is red. And then we move upwards to the space between your eyebrows, your third eye centre, Agnya, often represented by indigo. It doesn't have an element attached to it. This is the seat of our intuition and all knowing. And we all have the capacity for intuition. Admittedly, our education system tends to favor the more rational mind, but we can still cultivate greater sense of ability to intuit in our lives, to have a sense of direction and clarity and to connect with people on this almost deeper level in many respects. And then awareness to the crown of your head, so the very top of your skull there. Sahasara, the thousand petal lotus flower. The crown chakra. This is all about our faith, essentially. Our sense of oneness with all of life. We can tell when this chakra is out of balance because we feel quite low in spirit, quite separate from everybody else alone, unsupported in many respects. We have a loss of faith and we struggle to trust in life. So just settling into this space as well at the top of your head, noticing how it feels. It's often represented by violet or pure light, pure white light, for example. And then awareness back to your breath. If we can breathe in and out through the nose, then we might favor that if we can. Perhaps we just take a few conscious rounds of breath. So as you breathe in through your nose or your mouth if you need to, you might see if you can expand a little, not only through the rib cage, but also down towards your navel center. And then just softening on the exhalation. So noticing the breath coming into the body going through the nose or the mouth, down through windpipe into your lungs. The body receiving the breath, the tummy expanding if it can to allow more of the breath.
Trying to stay conscious to your breath. Noticing the body moving to accommodate the breath. And then we'll let go of the breath at the end of the exhalation. In so much as we won't try to control the breath in any way. We'll see if we can just keep our awareness focused on the breath for a few more moments. So if you're breathing through the nose, let your awareness, if you can, rest at the nostrils. And if you're breathing through the mouth, then let the awareness rest at the mouth. And every time you notice that your awareness has drifted away from the nose or the mouth, and you started thinking, you've noticed that you've started thinking, just very gently, no need to berate yourself or give yourself a hard time. Just very gently bring the awareness back to the nose or the mouth again. And again, the next time that you notice that you've drifted to thought, with a sense of friendliness to self, just bring the awareness back to the nose, back to the mouth. Awareness of the nose or mouth. Awareness, last few moments at the nose or the mouth. And then let's just move the awareness back up to the crown of our heads. And from the crown of your head, the awareness to your third eye space between the eyebrows. Down to your throat. And then to your energetic heart. To your navel center, to the space below the navel center and above the pubic bones, down to the very root of your spine, wherever you perceive that to be, and then all the way down your legs to the soles of your feet.
So once again, noticing your breath. And let's take a falling out breath. So a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then let's bring our hands together and bring some movement into the hands. So maybe we rub the hands together to create some heat in the hands as well as movement in the upper body, especially before we gently cup our eyes. So right hand to right eye and left hand to left eye. And just opening the eyes into the comfort of the space in front of your palms. And then we'll bring the hands away from the eyes, perhaps just lowering your gaze and bringing your hands together in front of your heart. Take one more falling out breath together, a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Perhaps we lower our chin a little further down to our chest, head to heart. And namaste, thank you for joining me for our first meditation session. I hope that was helpful and I shall look forward to seeing some of you next week, hopefully. So have a lovely rest of week and a lovely week ahead after then and keep warm and keep safe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>